fam. So look, we are back at it again with another crazy video. And y'all, I apologize, okay? I apologize, it's my fault. I've been gone for about three, three, four weeks, almost a month. I've been gone for almost a month again. I cannot keep leaving y'all like this because bro, y'all been so loyal. Y'all been coming back to the channel telling me, yo, keep going, keep going, keep going. But I've been leaving, okay? So I apologize, but look, Enough of that, enough of that nonsense, man. Y'all don't care about that. I gave y'all the same excuse about millions of times. But without further ado, man, we got another video coming from Michael Knowles. He is doing a debate with this college student. My wife sent me this. So shout out to Mrs. Golden for sending me this video. But uh, this right here, I had to react to it, y'all, because this is crazy, okay? This is crazy, and I have a lot of comments to make on this video. So without further ado, enough talking. Let's get it. Let's go. Why do you weaponize religion to justify your subjective opinion? How do you think I've done that? You say that God says, oh, there's men, there's a woman, and just leave that as that. Like, you don't represent religion because we don't live in a country where you can be purely pure based on your religion. False. That, that is so false. Like, you sin. Everyone sins, if we yeah. can understand that. That is true. That is so true. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to just let it play, okay? I'm going to just let it play. I ain't going to do enough. I ain't going to do too much pausing, okay? I'm just going to let it play. Religion, because we don't live in a country where you can be purely pure based on your religion. Like, you sin. Everyone sins, if we yeah. can understand that. So trying to weaponize that against people and try to limit their rights because of what you think God said, God didn't speak to you. You don't well, know. God does you don't speak know to God. me, and he speaks no, to all of us, no, and we can read his no, word in the Bible, no, and we no, can go to church. No, no that no. that is true. So what, what you, you're uh, objecting to is that I've quoted the Bible, and I've said uh, right there in the early chapters of Genesis, in the beginning God made man, both male and female created he them. And you're saying, Michael, why would you weaponize religion that way? But what have I do? all I've done is just quoted the Bible, and I'd be happy to have a conversation about 2,000 years of church history on this subject. I'm happy to have a conversation about even pre-biblical or extra-biblical sources on it, on the hylomorphic nature of the human being. I'm happy to do that. That's not a weapon against any people. That's a weapon against falsehood. And so the, the only way in which I would turn religion into a weapon is against the devil. And that's what we all have to do, because religion is a habit of virtue that renders to God what he deserves. That's the meaning of the word religion. And so I'm just reading the text, and I'm practicing the faith, and I'm telling you what the faith has said for 2,000 years. And you might reject it, but I think that it's true. I think religion is true. And you might think that it's false, and you might have a different set of beliefs, but one of us is, at the very most, one of us is going to be right. <laughs> and so, at the, at the very least, one of us is going to be wrong, and I just happen to be correct about this. This is, okay, look, I, I'm going to pause it right here, because I just want to make this quick. But this is the thing that I always tell people. Now, let's say that God is not real. Let's say there's no God, there's no Jesus. Let's say that. Let's just, let's just go with that knowledge that some of you people have, because some of y'all be in the comments talking about how you're an atheist and this and that, and I never understood it. I asked some of you guys, but you guys never respond. But look, let's just say God and Jesus is not real. When you die, you know what I'm saying? All you did was live a life, okay? All you did was live a life full of sin and live the life how you want to live it. You can live the life how you want to live now, even following God and Jesus. But let's say that God and Jesus is real. Now it's like a, oh, I didn't live the life dedicated to Jesus, or I didn't live a life that Jesus lived, because we are called to be on this earth to live just how Jesus lived. So let's say... God and Jesus is real and we don't live like them. Now it's to the point where we're going to hell based off the way that we lived on this earth. And on top of that, we didn't have faith in Jesus Christ. We have to have faith in Jesus Christ in order to be saved. So that's why when I follow God and I follow Jesus and I believe in the Trinity, the Holy uh, God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, when I believe in the Trinity, it's not just me being delusional or brainwashed or anything like that. It's the truth. It's the truth. You can read the Bible and I guarantee there's no contradict, no contradictions in the Bible. Some of y'all just stop at Genesis and y'all stop there and y'all feel like this book is too long and you don't want to read it, but you'll read a whole Harry Potter book. So if you can read a whole Harry Potter book, you can read the Bible. The Bible Bible is 2,000 years old, and everything that's talked about in the Bible is so is so long ago, but it all relates to here today in 2023. You can't make this up. That's why it's not no 50-50 when it comes to following God and Jesus. It's not no 50-50 with this. It's either you all in or you all out. You know what I'm saying? If you're all out and they're not real, congratulations, you was right. Now we all just die, and it's just complete darkness. If you If I'm right, you know what I'm saying? If I'm right and they are real, now you have lived a life full of sin, full of hate in your heart, and you haven't followed Jesus Christ, and you haven't had faith in Jesus Christ, and now you are going to perish for the rest of your life, for the rest of your eternity. 
That's why I just tell people, just follow them, read it, do your research, and I promise you everything is going to make sense. You just have to read it with the Holy Spirit instead of reading with your humanly uh, thoughts because you read it just you reading it like a Harry Potter, but you're not going to understand it. It's not going to make sense. You have to read it about being filled with the Holy Spirit. I hope that all makes sense. I try to make that as quick as possible. But anyways, keep going. You know, I I can respect I can respect the confidence, but it came out of it's just purely delusion. Okay, I, I don't I think respect, I don't think Christianity. Is I respect I respect religions. I respect people's rights. But trying to limit someone's rights by saying, "Well, I believe that God said this, so I'm going to block you from doing this," like abortion. People get raped. People get incest, and is crazy traumatic situations and it's very hard for a human to ask a human oh keep that baby because god said to do you, that do is you, impossible do you think okay and all right i'm gonna stop it right there now i want to say this when it comes to abortions this is the reason why christians or this is the reason why disciples of christ because i want y'all to know they're all religion is man-made okay so i like so they kept saying religion religion but all religion is man-made when it comes to just being a disciple of christ see, jesus christ walked this earth and he didn't call us a christian he called us disciples of him so when disciples don't follow abortion. Yes, the Bible tells us that children are a blessing from the Lord. The Bible tells us thou shalt not kill. When you kill a baby, when you're getting the abortion, you are killing the baby. Okay? And that baby, it's not just to say that, oh, I've been raped. I've been this. I've been that. I get it. People go through a lot of trauma, but it be the people who haven't been through this who talk about it the most. Okay? Because she was like, oh, people been through this and people been through that, but what have you been through this? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't speak on somebody else's trauma. Everybody has their own type of trauma. And when people do go through these things, I'm sorry to hear the trauma that they've been through. But look, that baby that's in your belly, it doesn't matter how that baby got here. It doesn't matter how none of that happened. I know you can say, well, what if a 12 year old girl have a baby? What if a 14 year old girl have a baby? This and that. Now, when it comes to those type of situations, that's between them and the parents. If the parents tell them to get an abortion, I mean, bro, the girl is 14. I can't, what, what can I truly say about that? But when you're old enough and you're 18, you're up, 18 and up, you can, you have the, you, you have the ability to take over or uh, you have the responsibility for your life. So if you want to give up a baby because you got raped and stuff like that, you're 18, you're older now, you have, you can take care of your child. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you can take care of like fully take care of them, but I'm saying you have responsibility over your life. So when it comes to abortion and things like that, look, that baby that's in your belly, it don't matter how it got here, bro. It doesn't matter how it got here. All that matters, that baby has a purpose. He had, he or she has a calling on their life. So you have, so you should have that baby because you never know what your child can bring to this world. You never know what light your child can bring to this world. Your child can bring some type of light that we haven't had in decades to this world. Your child can be the cure for cancer, okay? You never know what, how many lives your child could have saved from cancer, AIDS, uh, all type of diseases that may not have a cure for it. You know what I'm saying? You never know what your child could have done. That's why it don't matter how the baby got here. It just matters on whether you could take, like you can take, if you can take care of the baby and your, and your grandparents or whatever can help you take care of the baby as you get older and older until that baby get out of your house, you should raise that baby up to know God, to know Jesus Christ and to be filled with the Holy Spirit and allow that baby to move through this world. And watch how that baby can make an uh, impact on this world if they truly follow after their calling. That's why I don't like abortion. You never know. I don't like abortion. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the Bible say this. And the way that she say, oh, we weaponize. Because right here, I want to go back a little bit. Because uh, she said, because we don't live in a country where you can be purely uh, based off your religion. That's false. But uh, right here, it's a, oh, uh, wait, where is that? Uh... She said, God don't, God didn't speak to you. God speaks to everybody. You know what I'm saying? When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, that God can speak to you. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of people don't hear God's voice because a lot of people don't know God's voice. A lot of people don't know God's words. So that's why a lot of people cannot hear God's voice. Just because you haven't heard God's voice does not mean that he hasn't heard God's voice. See, he may know God's word. He may know God's character. He may know God's, uh, uh, God's voice to know that God is speaking to him and directly through him. You, on the other hand, don't know that. So you don't know that God is speaking to you and trying to use you for his glory. See, we have to understand, man, it's not based off religion. It's just a relationship with the one and only Jesus Christ. Y'all know how I get when it comes to this type of topic. Okay. 
when it comes to this type of topic, we can base everything off religion or we can base everything off the Bible because the Bible is the truth. The Bible is the truth. It's just a lot of y'all haven't even read through the entire Bible to understand the Bible. And if you read the Bible from the front to the back, you truly missed a lot of interpretations. You probably used it out of context of what it's supposed to be used in. So many things people done misconstrued with the Bible. They use it in this way when it's supposed to be read it in this way. They they think about it like this when honestly God was trying to say it this way. And then they go out and say, oh, well, God say this and God said that. If God knows everything, why did he create evil? Like, bro, you didn't even read the Bible to understand. <laughs> but anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, video in the comment section below. I thought it was a pretty good debate. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Michael Knowles, man. I, man, I love this guy, bro. I love, I love the way he actually makes sense when he like. I'm not gonna say he made, he always makes sense, but it's a lot of things that I love about Michael Knowles, man. I just appreciate him to, you know, give her the understanding that she truly, she, you don't know what she could have gained from this conversation. Just this one conversation could have changed her whole mindset. You never know. But yeah, shout out to Michael Knowles and shout out to that girl. You know, she probably didn't know the truth, but now she knows the truth. So without further ado, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. How do y'all feel about abortions? Um, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, if a 12 year old girl got, you feel me? Or a 14 year old girl got, you know what I'm saying? How would you feel about that situation uh, as a parent? You know what I'm saying? How would you go about that situation as a parent? And if you are God fearing, how would you also go about that situation? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.